Good morning. It is day 15 on the meal challenge. It is Monday and it is a magnificent day. Um, I hope all of you enjoyed Mother's Day and a Mother's Day weekend uh, with family. And just wanted to go over why we're doing this meal challenge. We are trying to set a great foundation of healthy, nutritious, fabulous fuel for our body throughout the day so that we can alleviate some of those cravings, those sugar cravings, all those salt cravings. So on that topic, um, let's talk about sugar and salt and how much of it is added into some of the processed foods or, you know, some of the other foods that are on the meal plan. Um, two things, yogurt. Yogurt with fruit in it has a lot of sugar. Four to six teaspoons of added sugar in just one of the small Yoplait or Activia yogurts. So I'm going to challenge this. If you're going to eat yogurt, then add the sugar yourself. Because I know that even if you've got a four-year-old kid at home, there's no way they would add four teaspoons of sugar to their yogurt if you gave them a plain yogurt. So that is way too much. Add it yourself. If you need to have the sweetener, go for the honey, the maple syrup, a little bit of vanilla. I know some of you have asked me about agave syrup. And just add a little bit and go for the fresh fruit. I mean, fruit is sugar with fiber added. So that would be the challenge. And the same thing with um, salt. If you're one of these people that enjoy salt, and I don't see anything wrong with having a little bit in your diet, we do need some, um, add it yourself. So cook without salt and then add it afterwards. And that way you'll please everybody's taste um, at the table. Anyway, uh, that's the challenge for the day. Just be aware of anything that comes in a package has probably had salt and sugar added to it, and that's why we're trying to move away from that. But yogurts, they're on the meal plan. Um, so just go for the plain. Add your own sugar if you need to. But I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.